My name is Mitch Greenwald. I am running as a candidate for City Council Ward 2. Good afternoon. My name is Mitch Greenwald. I am the current Ward 2 City Councilor. I'm running for re-election. It's a four-year term. I'm a resident of, of Keene. I've lived here since 1970. My wife and I came here to go to Keene State College and we loved the town and we grew to uh, grow some roots here and we're still here 47 years later. We live at Peg Shop Road, again, uh, with my wife. I've raised three children, two of which now live here in Keene. I have five grandchildren. I make my living as a real estate broker and as a property owner. I own Greenwald Realty. I own several buildings downtown. I employ five people regularly, and we swell up to 20 seasonally. I mention this for several reasons. I think it's very important to realize that I, too, am a property taxpayer. Every time I'm voting for something, I'm considering the sting of property taxes. I know how it hurts, and I have to weigh that against what's the benefit to the community. It's very important that we all bear this in mind and never forget that we are working for the general public. As an employer, I'm in daily contact with my employees, and as a property owner and real estate agent, I'm daily in contact with the public. I'm hearing what are the needs and the desires of the public, what are their frustrations, and I'm dealing with the city, uh, in the public works uh, area, the fire department, and the police department pretty much regularly. So I understand what it's like on both sides of, of the process. I've served on the city council since 1994. The city council process is really quite confusing, and it takes a while to understand how it works and to be able to work within it to accomplish things. And again, I've done this since 1994. I've been on all of the different committees, the Finance Committee, Municipal Services, and the Planning Committee. I understand how the city department works, and I understand the employees. It's very important to realize that we have very dedicated employees who are really working to try to do a good job for the public. Uh, in my position as a real estate agent in my office downtown, I'm constantly receiving input from the public and also from city employees. I hear the, the news, both it's good and the bad. Currently, I chair the Finance Organization and Personnel Committee. It's a big, big topic. Uh, primarily, in summary, we deal with the business functions of the city. This is the committee that works with the city manager and the city staff to develop the city budget and the capital improvements budget. Very complicated. It's a plan uh, that is developed. It's very comprehensive. My goal and philosophy with the budget and also the Finance Committee in general is inclusion. I want to hear from everyone. I want to hear from every city councilor. I want to hear from my committee, certainly, and I want to hear from the public. I try, and I think I'm pretty successful, at not directing the debate for a personal agenda. Most recently, I chaired the Economic Development Committee. This was a special committee set up by the mayor. I set a very tight timeline for this because uh, I get very frustrated with committees that go on and on and on, and maybe they accomplish a report. But we set a strict timeline of less than six months. Uh, we developed an awareness that the only way that we are going to maintain the level of services that we do in the city of Keene and not increase property taxes is that we have to increase our tax base. To do that, we need to attract new employers, we need to take care of our existing employers, and in order to do this, uh, we need to attract affordable housing, and as all knows, there's certainly a lot of new housing under construction. We need to uh, attract a younger workforce, we need to decrease the bureaucracy and process, and basically we need to show that Keene is open for business. It's very, very important that we communicate that. We are not obstacles, we are open for business. So in closing, I'd like to thank the residents of Keene for allowing me to contribute to the city I love for the past years and would appreciate the votes that will allow me to serve an additional four years. I am available in my Main Street office to speak with residents, staff, at any time about anything, and I encourage you to stop by. Again, I would appreciate your vote. So. Thank you very much.